Namaste everyone watching this video. My name is Saeed Sivastola and I am a student of class 9 from Golden Sangapa English Secondary School. In this video I am going to show you my presentation about algorithm and flowchart. This presentation was given to us by Guru Lama Karki sir and we know that algorithm is this step by step written in English language and flowchart is the pictorial representation to solve a program. In this video, you will you will be learning about some questions of algorithm and flowchart. Now, begin with the question number one. We have a we have a question to find an algorithm and flowchart to find the greater number between two numbers. Let's start with the algorithm. Step one: start program. Step two: read two numbers and store them as A and B. Step three. Compare A and B. Step 4. If A is greater than B, then display A is greater than A is greater. Otherwise, display B is greater. Step 5. Stop program. Now, let's look at its flowchart. It will be more easier to us after we look at the flowchart. In the first, we start and in the second, we read A and B. We can use we can use different types of like accept we can use accept instead of read and ask to the user as well now in this third we have a decision box saying that is a greater than b if true it will display a otherwise if false it will display b and then it will stop the program now let's go to another question question number two in the question number two we have an algorithm and flowchart to find the first 10 natural numbers in the algorithm step one start program step two initialize the variable to one step three display the variable count step four increase the variable count by one step five check whether count variable to end equals to 10 if yes, go to step 3, else go to step 6. Step 6, stop program. Now let's look at its flowchart and find out. We will start here and then we will, in the processing box, we will initialize count to 1. Count equals to 1. Then it will display count. That means here is count 1, then it will display 1. Then it will go to the next step. Count equals to count plus 1. That means count equals to it displayed one so it will go to count equals to one plus one then it will go over here as it will be count equals to two then if count is less than or equals to ten that means if two as this as from this condition is two is two less than or equals to ten yes the condition will be true and it will display two then the process will loop until the condition becomes false and finally it will stop in the question number three, we have this algorithm and flowchart to find the given number is even or odd. In the step one, we have in the step one we will start the program. In the step two, we will read a number and store it as n. In the step three, we will check n mode two equals to zero. If yes, display even number or else display odd number. In the step four, we will stop the program. Now in the flowchart we can see we will start and we will read a number n and it will go down. Is n mode 2 equals to 0? If we divide n by 2, if the is the remainder 0, yes true then it will display n is even otherwise if the condition is false it will display n is odd. This is as, this is as simple as it and now the program will stop. Now let's look at another program, algorithm and flowchart to find odd number from 1 to 50. Algorithm. Step 1, start program. Step 2, initialize variable count to 1 and store as n. Step 3, display n. Step 4, increase n by 2. Step 5, check whether n to end is less than 50. 
if yes go to step 3 else go to step 6 step 6 stop program it is as same as we did it in the question number 2 but it is a little bit different so in the flow chart we can see we will start as it and then in this we will initialize the count to 1 and we will display we will store it as n and then we will go here and display n and then we will go over here and n equals to n plus 2 we, we are doing this so that n plus n equals to n plus 2 so that 1 displaying 1 and then 1 plus 2 that means it will display a or number and if the condition and in this condition we have here is n less than 50 yes from this condition we get 3 and after it becomes true it will loop until it becomes false and it becomes more than 50 now it will stop in the step in the question number 5 we have algorithm and flowchart to display a given number is positive negative or zero it is a bit complicated but let's start in the step 1 we have start program in the step 2 we will read any number and store as n in the step 3 is n greater is n greater than or equals to 0 if yes display n is positive else go to step 4 in the step 4 we have another condition is n less than or less than 0 if yes display n is negative else display n is 0 and go to step 5 the step 5 will stop program now let's look at the flowchart we will start up to here and then we will go to here and read a number n and then we will go to the next condition is n less than is n greater than 0 then if true it will go to n is positive and the program will stop if it is false then it will go over here and is n less than 0 true then it will display n is negative and the program will stop if this condition is also false then it will display that n is 0 and the program will stop thank you for watching this video hope you learned from my presentation bye bye